Hey y'all, this is Garrett down in Texas and uh, my, my friend Jarrett Wharton uh, was nice enough to come out with me and help me with this. This is going to be a shootout between the Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual and the M210 with the XG2. I'm just kidding, of course. There, there really isn't any uh, comparison between the two other than they're both thermal imagers and stuff. The real purpose of this is there's been a whole lot of questions, discussions. I, I, I think I've answered the question at least half a dozen times today alone is uh, the question is hey Garrett can I uh, not either buy this or if they have one can I sell an XT or an XT2 and just replace it with a couple of these um, and I know some of the videos that we've had out there uh, shows it really good and this is a very good uh, small platform with both thermal and optical but the reality is no it just doesn't replace this at all and so what I'm hoping to demonstrate today is why it doesn't replace it uh, and, and uh, the real purpose of the M2, uh, I'm sorry, the uh, yeah, uh, Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual is really to augment or to supplement, uh, go into places where you really wouldn't want to take this big aircraft. Uh, places like, really, if let's say you need to fly inside this porch area, or underneath a garage overhang or inside of a building if you need to go inside and clear a building or, or assist in clearing a building right you wouldn't bring this big aircraft you couldn't fit it through doors but this little guy would work just perfectly so I want to kind of clear that up and and hopefully today I'm gonna to do it we're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison uh, on the sensor itself and and show you so here's the setup that we have of course we have both of them here we're gonna kind of do a ground test and then we're gonna do an in-flight test let me put this thing on the tripod here to where I'm not moving around anymore and let's see that's probably okay right about there all right so um, just to compare one, one thing I want to kind of uh, just throw out there to compare um, in our setup again here on the left uh, we have the M210 with the XT2 on the right we have the Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual. Now, they're both in MSX, uh, both have MSX turned on, and I know there's some people that just really don't like that color palette, but here's the thing is, um, that color palette is the only one where they're really close or have the same colors and everything in it. Uh, they, they have some different color palettes between the two, and they just don't really align up right or match right where you could do a side-by-side. -side. So. Uh, if you don't like it, I'm sorry, but um, you know this is the best comparison that we can do. Now, the other thing I want to point out on this is that both of these are Crystal Sky Ultras, uh, same to the set to the same brightness setting. Uh, so this there isn't some kind of a, a difference between your uh, displays. There, we put the same display on both of them. Okay. All right. So for the first test, uh, we just kind of want to look here first, real quick. This uh, across the street, uh, this is a, a car. You can very, very clearly make. Oh, oh, wait, wait, one other thing on the setup. And people are going to say, well, why is this one so zoomed in? Uh, this is a 19 millimeter. And of course, a better comparison would probably be as far as zoom factor goes. You know, your, your field view would maybe be a 9 millimeter lens, but I just don't have that. And so um, this is what we're going to go with. And you, you can still make the call. We're looking so much at the sensor. Don't look at so much the field of view. Okay. Anyway, back to the starting the test. This is a um, a car. This is a house. And over here, you can make out, out the car, but you can't really make out. So it looks more like a blob. You can you can look at it and figure out that it's a car, but not, not very clearly. We're here. You can make out even, uh, you know, certain features of the car, the wheels, the taillights, the windows, and stuff like that. Okay. On this, I'm going to have Jared go ahead and walk across the street. And as you can see right away when he steps into the, both of them, they're both very clearly, you can make out a human, you can see his feet, his legs, uh, his jacket, and everything else. As he gets out to about this range, um, on the Mavic 2 Enterprise Duel, he kind of turns into a moving stick. And then on the, uh, but on the XT2, very clearly I can make out the cold bottom of his shoes versus uh, the rest of his body. I can still see um, uh, writing on his jacket. And so he's out by the car now. And as you can see over here, uh, he's just kind of a, a moving blob. As he walks in front of the car, he kind of becomes part of the car. Over here, you can still see very clearly, uh, make him out in, in comparison to the car. 
All right, now he's kind of squatting down. And again, I just want you to kind of compare the two. That, that's the whole idea behind it. All right, so come on back, Jared. Thank you. And again, as you see him come back, you'll see it happen again. Now, the distance on that, just to kind of show you, I'm going to move the camera up a little bit. The distance on that is right over there. So it's just really across my yard and across the street, uh, probably a couple hundred feet away. Okay. All right. There we go. Okay. So uh, we're going to do this real time. I don't like to edit videos. Um, I, I did that a few in the past and people accused me of doctoring them or trying to do something with them. So I just do this real time uh, straight off the SD card right to you. So we're going to go ahead and move these out, put them up in the air. Let me, I got the gimbal off to the side on this one. So we're looking at the same thing. All right. Okay. Um, yeah, why don't you go ahead and go up first. First thing that we're going to do um, is we're going to, we're going to, we're going to raise these up at different increments. We're going to start off at about 25 feet and about 25 feet out. So we're going to, we're going to go up and out about the same distance every time and uh, we'll just keep going up and and then you'll kind of see the difference between the two as we go we're going to use ourselves as subjects so we're going to kind of look back onto this porch so here we go with the m210 Okay. Okay. I just don't want them to run into each other. Okay, so here we are. Uh, we're up at about about 25 feet um, here on the on the Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual. You can see that there's that there's two people there. Um, I don't. You definitely couldn't make out if we had something in my hand. You can see my hand sticking up, but it's just like a blob there. Here on the XT2, you can make out. You can count the fingers on my hands. I don't know if you can see it that well in the video, but I can count the fingers on my hands up here. Um, you can definitely make out two people, the benches and everything else. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, climb up in altitude. We'll go up to uh, 50 feet. And then we need to go back as well. Oops, I climbed up too high. Hang on. Bring it down. Okay. How far? You at 50 feet? Yep. All right. Okay, so here we are up at about 50 feet. Uh, we got a little bit of wind today, so it's there, just give or take a few feet. But again, now you can see that there's kind of a, two people on the M2 Enterprise Dual has kind of become a oblong uh, single thermal uh, signature there. Here on the uh, X-T2, uh, we're now still see two people i can see my hand i can still see individual fingers actually and i can still make out everything i needed to um, i think you can see it just as clearly as i can so let's go ahead and go up to uh, let's just go right up to 100 feet now and back as well feet as well you're going out 200 no 100 sorry did i say 200 no uh, 100. i meant 100 going out to 100 Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. All right. So here we are. Uh, this is about 100 foot up and about 100 foot out. 
and you're on the Mavic 2 Enterprise Duel again you can still see our signature but uh, if I was out looking and that was uh, was looking for a person on that I would question whether that was the door itself or just hot concrete or anything else I definitely cannot make out an individual on there you can see the signature but you aren't going to make out an individual on the XT2 I can still see two people when I put my arm up I'm going to put it over Jared's head so you can, I can still see my arm going up around over Jarrett over here so I can still see movement. Um, I could still probably see an object in my hand to some degree uh, if I had it or not. What have you right. zoomed in? Okay, so yeah, here's where I want to show one other thing too. Uh, one thing you can't do on the Mavic 2 Enterprise Duel is zoom in and and uh, what I want to do is I'm going to just zoom in 2x now. So I'm going to bring it back to 1x whenever we continue to go up. Now I can clearly see my hand and what I'm doing. So you have a zoom capability. I can zoom in even more if I wanted to and see even more about what's going on down here. Here's my hand. So huge difference, huge capabilities there. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out to, to one and just kind of keep it on par. All right, so let's go ahead and go up to, uh, let's go to 150 feet and 150 out. Okay, so here we are at 150 and 150 approximately. Mm -hmm. And now <clears throat> on the Mavic 2 Enterprise Duel, again, we're still a signature, but as you can see, I would have, I, in fact, I wouldn't even uh, bother looking on that porch. It just, I look the same as my roof and my grass. Uh, at this point, the sensor is getting to where it's it's being challenged to differentiate between the different th different. Uh, uh, objects in in its field of view as far as, as that goes on the xt2 uh, still clearly see two people i can see two people even at 1x zoom i can see Jarrett moving his hand right now even at 1x so we're going to go ahead and do this as well we're going to uh, go 2x go ahead and move your hand to the side i can see i can see an object in your hand still at this level all right and then over here of course i can still really make out yep i can see a see an object in your hand as you can see that 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 cold dark spot in his hand that happens to be his cell phone but i can still make all that out with the xt2 again the difference between these two just at that level um it is substantial right, let me go ahead and go back to 1x zoom okay now let's uh let's do the final one let's just take it up to 200. we're gonna go 200 up and 200 out Oops, I'm out. I'm past 200 out. Let me come in some. Okay, so close enough. Okay, so here, uh, if you look over here on the Mavic 2 Enterprise Duel, it's all kind of blending in now. You can't even uh, really so much make out the textures around my house. My house is kind of a blob at this point. Um, I see that there's objects, but I can't identify anything. On the X-T2, I can still make out two individuals under the porch with at 1x zoom. There's no zoom on there. I can still make that out clearly that there's two individuals. Um, at 1x, I don't know. Go ahead and wave your hand, Jerry. Let's see if we can see your hand. All right, I can still see his hand moving uh, at 1x. Let's go ahead and zoom in. Okay, there's 2x. Go ahead and move your hand. I can see I can even see an object in your hand. Let's go ahead and do 4x zoom to get in a little closer. I can see that dark object, dark cold object in your hand at this level. Clearly see it. So anyway, wanted to really show you the difference. I think this kind of highlights it and, and shows exactly why you definitely do not want to uh, replace any XT or XT2 with the Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual, but it is a perfect complement. You know, where I see it being used, 
the most. I'll kind of reiterate what I said on some other videos is, is number one, um, it's affordable for every department. Number two is it takes away, it, it removes the whole logistics issue. You can stick that under the seat of your car. So that makes it kind of your first on. Uh, you know, if you had to get eyes on, get back behind a house, uh, see a, a structure fire, find uh, flanks on a wildland fire, whatever it might be, you can get all that information very quickly with, with the Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual. Um, so indoor flying, close quarters, all that stuff. It definitely has a big place in public safety. Uh, but as you can see from this video, it definitely does not replace it. At 200 feet, everything blends in and at 200 feet up and out, you're just still very clearly seeing everything on the XT and XT2. All right, um, got anything else, Jared? No, sounds good. Pretty clear to you as well. Absolutely. All right, cool. All right, well, thanks a lot, guys. Hope, hope this helps out you too. Bye.